Okay, I wanted to show you how the outfitter switches work on my Ford F-250. And in this example here, I went ahead and made a little diagram. And this outfitter switch we're going to be looking at today is for the auxiliary one position. And again, it's just an example, depending on what truck that you are working on and what model year and such, this, this could all change, wire colors, fuses, etc., etc. Um, so we're just going to use this one today. And what I did was I printed off a schematic from my service information and I broke it down into something that most folks should be able to understand. All right, so this all starts out at the switch. That switch is located up top and if you flip it on, you're gonna complete the circuit and turn on whatever it is that you're trying to power. On the back side of the switch, you'll see a green and orange wire. Yours might be slightly different in color, but anyways, this one is a green wire with an orange stripe and it is a five amp circuit and the fuse for this five amp circuit is located in position 4A. All right, so this wire is powered, and if I close my switch, I can provide power to the yellow wire, all right? But I also provide power to this LED, which illuminates the aux one position. So this switch has two jobs. One, provide power to the yellow wire, and also flip on this LED. All of these LEDs are tied into the same exact ground location, which is G201. Now, if I go back to the yellow wire and follow it up, it's going to provide power to my relay. The job of the relay is to take a small amount of current and flip on something that would require a larger amount of current. In order for that to happen, it kind of works like an if-then situation. If I have power and ground at this coil, then it's going to become energized. If it's energized, that creates a magnetic field, which then closes this switch. Okay, so in order for this to work, I need power to be going through that switch. And if you take a look at the circuit, it's a 25 amp circuit, and this just happens to be a yellow and red wire. All right, so I've got these few circuits. Um, all of these wires and things you really won't see, uh, but what you will see is the wire that's going to be underneath the hood that gets switched on or provided power. And in my case here, this one is a brown and green wire, which means that it's a brown wire with a green stripe. So underneath my hood for aux position one, I'm looking for a brown and green wire. So let's go take a look for that brown and green wire. To the right of the master cylinder, you'll see a label. It's attached to several wires. Those wires are color coordinated to each relay for each upfitter switch. This is where you'll be adapting your accessories. I hope this video was helpful to you. If it was, go ahead and hit subscribe.